today I will show you a very old trick from the con artist. It is called four card Monty. It is called the four card Monty because it uses four cards. Three of the cards are the same, and in this case, they are blank cards. And the different card is the ace, the one that you need to follow to win. Once a con artist came to me and asked if I would like to play the game. So I asked, how do I play? He said, look, I'll make it very easy for you. In this case, you can follow from the face or you can follow the cards from the back because all of the cards have different colored backs. The only card you need to find is the ace with the red back. The rest are blank cards, which are the colors of yellow, green, and blue. He said, let's do something. I'll make it easier for you. I'll leave you with the yellow card so we only have two of the blank cards. He showed me two blank cards and the ace. And he put the ace between the other two. You can see that you can follow the red card from the front and from the back. And he did this small simple movement just as you are watching right now. Three cards. Out of the three cards, which is the different card? You say the red card? Well, I lost just as you did because it was the green card. Did you notice? I said to him, how can that happen? Do it again. He replied, of course. And he put the card clearly into the middle. And he showed me once again what you are seeing right now. From the back, the green card, and from the front, the ace. And he did this clear, simple movement, so slow, just as you are seeing right now. He put the cards like this, and he asked, what is the different card? There's only one different card. The green card, and that's what I said. And I lost, because it wasn't any of these cards. It was actually the card that was in my own hands, just like you right now. I couldn't believe it. I said, how could this work? And immediately I asked, can we do this again? He said, of course. And he put one blank card into my hand and he said, if you have any doubts, you can see it until the last moment, a blank card. That means we have here two blank cards and the ace. Follow along. If I put it into the middle, it is clearly easy to follow. And if I put it on top, you can still clearly follow it. And if I leave it face up, he said, I asked, what do you mean face up? Look, I will mix the cards with the card face up so you can watch it. Which is the different card? He asked me one more time, what do you think? This one, just like what I said. But he said, no, it is actually in your hands once again. Go ahead and turn it over. The only different card from the others, because what he had now in his hands were three aces. Afterwards, he put them in my hands to examine. What is more incredible than that? 